Hi, I've had this calculator for a while now and I have never tried um, hexadecimal, binary or octal and it was only today when a student told me how to do it uh, that I now know and I'm just going to share that information with you if you think it might be useful. So by default we are just using decimal and, and we have the full features of things like you know powers and log um, but if we want we can enable other number systems but we're going to lose some of these functions here and you'll see what I mean by that in a moment. So to get into say binary we're going to need to click uh, menu and then this is the different base system so 2 is binary, 8 octal, 10 decimal and 16 of course is hexadecimal. So you can if you want go across like that and then press equals that would get you there into that menu. We're now in decimal uh, but if you prefer you can go back to menu you can go along like this and you can just press numbers on the keypad which will take you to the corresponding number you know three four eight seven whatever you want okay so I'll just press three. You see that we're currently in decimal but if we wanted to go into um, binary entry we would do it like that okay. Let's just go back to decimal let's type the number seven and press equals so we've got seven there and then if we then press uh, bin for binary it then gives us a binary representation of decimal seven which is one 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 uh, with a load of pleasing zeros okay so um, let's, let's just clear that if say I did uh, 101 in binary and then I want to convert that into decimal then I can just hit oh actually no if you just hit decimal, that's that's actually not going to work. If you try that, it just still shows you 101, which is actually a valid, you know, 101 uh, number in decimal. Let's just go back to binary. You've got to press enter. That's that's one important thing, okay? So the binary representation of the 101 that we keyed in is 101. And then if we want to convert that into decimal, 5. Okay, so all that seems okay. Well, it is okay. All right. Um, let's just um, go back and then we're back into normal mode. Of course, if you want to do things like addition, so for example, if you had a question something like, what are we going to do? Do a really simple one. Uh, 101, this is a um, binary number and we had say 10. One, oh, okay, so let's do that. We'll add those uh, two three bit numbers. So 0 and 1 is, of course, 1. 1 and 0 is 1. 1 and 1 is uh, 0, carry 1. So that's our answer, 1, 0, 1, 1. And of course, if you want to just check that, remember this is 1s, 2s and 4s. So this will be equivalent to decimal 5. And this will be equivalent to decimal 6, because we've got 1 lot of 4, 1 lot of 2, and which, of course, is going to give us 11. And here we've got uh, 1 lot of 8, 1, 2, so we've got 8 plus 2 plus 1, which is 11. Okay, so yeah, that's right. Now to do um, uh, simple calculations like that, we go menu, let's go into um, the um, base mode. I suppose you call it base mode, I don't know, what, what do they call it? Uh, yeah, base end mode, okay. And so we're now in decimal, and let's just change the binary, and I can then do uh, 101 plus, now remember, because we're working in binary, it's not 101, it is 101 plus 110, 110, and then press enter, gives us 1011, and of course, if we want to, we can go back to decimal, which gives us uh, 11 in base 10. Okay. Um, I think it's pretty good actually. I think that's that's good. Uh, if you're doing GCSE computer science, certainly the AQA spec, you're not allowed to use calculators. So, uh, yep, I um, don't think you can do this in the exam. Um, A-level electronics, yep, you can. I think it might be useful for checking an answer, say if you have to do a conversion. And I'm sure there must be quite a few other subjects when it um, yeah could possibly be useful. Right, that's it for the video. Um, if you like it, please give it the thumbs up.